2020, and it's 12.26 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to begin the book of Joshua now. And let's start with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And Father, forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are indebted to us. And Father, restore us back to the days before the devil stole our joy. Stole our songs, stole our dance, stole everything from us. And I understand, Father, that the devil can't steal anything from you unless you let him. And I repent for all of that, Father, and I ask you for a way out. In Jesus' name, amen. Joshua, chapter 1. And I want to say about uh, the book of Joshua... That when I was in prison, we read the book of Joshua a lot together as a group. And so this book means a whole lot to me. And Father, I want to pray again. I want to say, Lord, Lord, I ask you, all those precious women that I was in jail and prison with, I want to ask you to please restore them back to all of the faithful ones who love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Joshua chapter 1. Oh, and one more thing. For those of you who think that there aren't precious people in prison, think again. Okay? When Jesus comes back and he takes his bride... You're going to find that there's going to be a lot of people that are gone from prisons. And there's going to be a lot of you heathens who've never been to prison here, still here dealing with the devil. So, put that in your pipes and smoke it. Unless you've been there, don't judge. I had no, I had no criminal record. But you know what? The Lord had a reason for putting me in prison so that I could have a testimony. And I, and I challenge any, any of you goody two-shoes Christians who look down on people who've been to prison who won't allow somebody like me to have a job as a dishwasher because I have a criminal record. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens one day. Anyway, the Lord's going to give me my own business anyway. He's going to give it to me because I asked him for it. And my business is going to be serving him. First and foremost, first fruits of everything goes to the Lord. Hallelujah. Joshua chapter 1. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came... It came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan thou, and all this people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. And, and y'all, you know what's so sad? It's so sad. It's so sad that Moses didn't get to go into the promised land. He got to see it. He got to see it, but he didn't get to go in. He didn't get to go in. And maybe that's the way my life is going to be. Maybe I'm going to get to see it, but I'm not going to get to go in. But I know that I'm going to be with the Lord. But I might not get to go to paradise. But I'm going to be with the Lord. Verse 3. 
every place that your that the sole of your foot shall tread upon that have I given unto you and I said unto Moses from the wilderness and and this Lebanon, even into the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and into the great sea, toward the, do the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not be any man able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all that law, all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written where therein. For when thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then, then thou shalt have good success, have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee. Whithersoever thou goest. And see. I know this. But this world still afflicts me. And I'm just so tired of. I'm so tired of this devil. I've been seven years. Here. And I'm. I've been. Ronnie died. May 23rd, 2012. He was my soulmate. I loved him so much. And um, I understood when he, at the end, um, he was in so much pain and, and uh, he was taking drugs. And uh, to relieve the pain and to just relieve himself of of society because he was a master. He was a master carpenter. He could do anything with wood. <laughs> and so I know that in I know that in heaven that he's building things. Anyway, so when I asked a year after Ronnie died, I asked. I told my son, well, I told my son that I think I need a husband because I was so lonely. And my son said, Mom, you don't want me to find you a husband, do you? I said, no. Well, then, a few months later, that's when a mutual friend showed me that she had been in communication with Gary, whom I hadn't seen in 19 years. He was my college sweetheart. Anyway, we reconnected because Ronnie was dead and his wife had left him. And we reconnected. We were supposed to get married. He betrayed me. And here I am still seven years later because I went to prison and a whole bunch of other things. But anyway, verse 9 again. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the host, and command the people, saying, Prepare, the, prepare you victuals, for within three days ye shall pass over this Jordan to go, to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. And the Reubenites and to the Gadites and to half the tribe of Manasseh spake Joshua, saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God hath given you rest and hath given you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side of Jordan. But ye shall possess before your brethren armed all the mighty men of valor and help them. 
until the Lord have given your brethren rest, and he hath given you, and they also have possessed the land which the Lord the Lord your God giveth them, then ye shall return into the land of your possession, and enjoy it. Which Moses, the Lord's servant, gave you on this side, Jordan, toward the sun rising. And they answered Joshua, saying, All that thou commandest us, we will do. And whithersoever thou sendest us, we will go. And according as we heart, according as we hearken unto Moses in all things, so will we hearken unto thee. Only the Lord thy God be with thee as he was with Moses. Whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment and will not hearken unto thy words and all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courage. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> 